Data streams are everywhere, for instance logs, tweets, and RSS feeds. But can classic area charts show live updates? Not really. Our physical world is good at showing changes while preserving context. Visual sedimentation applies this metaphor to area charts. Incoming data tokens arrive at an entry point, fall down into a deposit area, then transform into an aggregated area, which is constrained by walls and the ground. We applied this metaphor to bar charts, pie charts, and bubble charts. We used visual sedimentation in several case studies. Bubble T is an online tweet monitoring application. Each token is a tweet filled with an avatar picture. Each column represents a candidate for the French election. Direct manipulation is available inside the bar chart. Bubble TV is a social TV application deployed on French national television. Here, each token represents a tweet, each column represents a tag, and white space represents the volume of previous tweets per tag. SETI clock is a clock inspired by an hourglass. Large tokens represent seconds, and small tokens are 200 milliseconds. Each stratum demonstrates a different time window, minute, hour, day of the week, and day of the month. Stack Overflow is a visualization of the popular website by the same name. Each token is a new question on the website, each column represents a tag, and direct manipulation is enabled inside the chart. How can we visualize human births and deaths in real time? Tokens dropping from the top represent individual births. The circle in the middle represents everyone who is alive, and tokens falling to the bottom represent individual deaths. Wikipedia Flow monitors edits on different language versions of Wikipedia. Each token is a new edit and the difference in size represents the length of each edit. Each column is a version of Wikipedia by language. Direct manipulation is enabled inside the chart. SETI SVN is a visualization of commits in our research group for the 20 days before an InfoViz deadline. Each token represents a commit, each column represents a researcher, and the timeline below shows the distribution of commits over time. SETI MNMs is a record of 20,000 tweets containing both the word MNMs and a color name. Each tweet falls down from the top into the appropriate colored bin. It aggregates into layers, and layers from previous days are at the bottom. Exploring generativity. The trail chart uses vertical gravity and entrance points at the top. Trails show the data burst over time. The silo chart uses no gravity. Vertical walls create columns, and entrance points are in the center of each column. The heat chart uses no gravity and no walls. Entrance points are spread throughout the scene, and ISO contours show the maximum value. The corner chart uses a dual force system. It has walls and places entrance points in the corners. The pie chart without boundaries uses radial gravity and no walls.
As tokens shrink and compress, they draw the aggregated area. The bar chart without boundaries has vertical gravity and several entrance points at the top. There are walls at the borders and a horizontal ground. The drop chart uses vertical gravity and containers with holes. It has the same entrance points as the bar chart. The typo chart uses vertical gravity and standard entrance points. A complex layout is created with walls and grounds. All presented work was made using the Visual Sedimentation Toolkit. This is an open source JavaScript library for generating new visualizations, available on GitHub. You can download it at visualsedimentation.org.